Gazetteers. We're back. Grind Gazetta Urban News Channel with a hip hop twist with a strong emphasis on business. On this edition, we're going to get into Chris Breezy. Yes, the legendary R&B singer, dancer, Chris Brown, going off, going super off. He going so nuclear, he throwing people in it that he had no business throwing in it. And it all started with the chick, Kylie Kiely Williams, the former 3OW girl, the one we just reported on getting choo-choo trained, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Chris Brown is blasting entertainment industry double standards and pointing out that he is treated much more harshly than other people in the industry accused of assaulting women which is definitely true. It all started with former 3OW singer Kylie Williams, who we just ran a story on about getting a choo-choo train ran on her by members of B2K. Well, she had the nerve to criticize singer Chloe Bailey for collaborating on a new music with Chris Brown. According to Kylie, she was disappointed in Chloe for choosing to make music with an abuser. Mind y'all, this was like 16, 17, year old, 17 years ago. Chris then went on through a list and threw a list out of prominent entertainers accused of beating, beating women such as Sean Penn, Nicolas Cage, Ozzy Osbourne, Mel, Mel Gibson, Tommy Lee, Slash, which is half black. I don't think Chris Brown knew that. Christian Slater and many, many more. Allegedly, y'all. And then he even threw Blueface in there, too. So let me just tell y'all, let me show y'all the tweets that they threw up. First, Kylie Williams said, let him come out with his own record. Let me say it with her lisp. Let him come out with his own record. So genius. So capitating that it makes us all forget he beats women. He can't. So he won't. So what does he do? He slowly creeps back into the mainstream by getting small nods for features on black women's merits. Black women who are more. Yo, this girl trying to get some attention, y'all. Then Chris Brown goes the F off. He said, <laughs> hello, funny. He said, I'm getting tired of your broken promises, promises. Because that's what the chick said on that one song with a list. Oh, oh that's 3 or W song. <laughs> He said, obviously, you are at a point in your life where either you are very broke or broken. The fact you think you have to speak negatively about me makes you look so lame. Your life and career must suck right now. Minding your business would have been best, but I guess you don't have a business or a real job that makes you financially stable. I feel more embarrassed for you and your actual maturity. And then... Chris Breezy also said, if y'all still hate me for a mistake I made as a 17-year-old, damn, I didn't know he was only 17 years old, please kiss my whole entire ass. I'm fucking 33. I'm so tired of y'all running with this narrative. You weird-ass snakes are the same ones that tune in every week to see Blueface and Krishan beat the fuck out of each other in front of the world. That was cold. Chris Breezy, you was wrong. But that's okay. It's entertainment. All y'all can suck my disrespectfully. Oh, yeah, our boy Chris Brown mad. Where are the cancel culture with these white artists that date underage women, beat the, out their wives, giving chicks AIDS? Oh, that's right. They are your buddies. No more fake, fake love from me. Stay out my way or get ran over. Simple as that. None of you, and I mean none of you can F with me. Yeah, boy, Chris Brown was hot. And Blueface, I don't blame him, has something to say about it. He had to come through like a player and pretty much kind of respectfully told Chris Breezy a few things. Check, check, check it out. Breezy, oh, yeah. Beat the Yaki. What's happening, Kyle? Look, check it out. I understand the frustration, fool. You know, for me being in the situation, I'm not even gonna trip on you because the message you trying to send is way off. I 
get it, you know, bitch hit me, it's funny, I hit her back, it's fuck blue face, so I totally get it, that would be the most irritating thing ever, but you gotta play the cards that you was dealt, <clears throat> you want some, but they did it too, why aren't you guys telling them anything type shit, and it's like, bro, life don't work like that, man, you know, if we all go do a crime together, we're not all gonna get the same time together, you hear me? You might get the most amount of time. We might not all say nothing, but we all went and did the crime, so we gotta take the time, you hear me? You want some, you guys are gonna give me the most time, but they did it too, like judge, sent to yeah, like, We ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. You know what I mean, like, handle your candle, deal with your situation, how you deal with it. Only thing I disagree with is you, Yes, posting all these random white people and, and me and the bitch and trying to like distract from your you thing know. you feel me like you gotta stand on it cause like if you beat the bitch up shit you beat the bitch up like <laughs> you don't got like you scared right, to like <laughs> yeah like I get it you want some R&B you don't want to be seen as R&B but I don't got it. you beat the Yaki you gotta hey I beat my bitch up, man. I ain't finna come on here and be like, well, Chris Brown did it 16 years ago, and and you guys let him still, like, perform at the BET Awards, and uh, I'm gonna sound like a, like a square, guy. That's what I'm gonna sound like. My last opinion is, cuz you beat up the wrong bitch. Yeah. You got, <laughs> you got a bad judge, like, you feel me? We didn't all get the same judge, cuz, yeah, I got a bitch, you feel me? She gonna fight back, so I'm gonna get less time, you hear me? You beat, you beat up a, <laughs> yeah, you beat up the wrong bitch. You beat up the bitch that just performed at the Super Bowl. And then you like, yeah, like, I'm sorry, fool. Like, you should have got you a little ghetto bitch or something that you could fight with. That's what I did. I could have had plenty of famous bitches. I decided to go to, feel me? I'm natural element. I'm yeah, underground. You feel me? You annoying, my nigga. Beat the Yaki. <laughs> Moral of the story, watch it. Can't be watched with yeah, y'all. Blueface is a thousand percent right. Our boy Chris Breezy is wrong. That's like super dry snitching. <laughs> he, I even brought up Blueface's name. You know what I mean? It was so funny though about that video though. Blueface like he uh like he is about to get the beats for for calling um. Chris Rock, uh, a ghetto chick at the end of that video. But yeah, he looked like he had to, like, she already gave him the beats. He looked like he had some bruises already on from her. Man, our boy. Boy, send some healing energy to our boy, Blueface, too. He be going through it. But yeah, our boy, Chris Breezy, was totally wrong, man. You can't bring up other people because you have a bad situation. But yeah, y'all. Continue to like and subscribe to Grind Gazette, where we're usually pocket watching. And remember, if you don't grind, you don't shine. Subscribe, y'all, in a minute. What's up, you guys? It is your girl, Make sure I check out my boy, Chris Brown. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all